What is Cairo? The definition of Cairo from the StarkNet website, Cairo is a Turing complete language, making it possible for all blockchain developers to harness the power of Starks. So you already know what are zero knowledge proofs, zero knowledge rollups and Starks. And Cairo allow us basically to write provable programs, provable smart contracts using Starks. So it's a CPU and Turing complete language. It's inspired by Rust. So Cairo 1 and Cairo 2, the most recent versions, look very similar to Rust. So if you have some experience with Rust, it will be easier for you. But don't worry, if you don't know Rust at all, you will learn everything here from scratch and you will get used to the syntax and the language very, very easily if you follow these chapters along in the exercises. So we have the Cairo virtual machine that execute Cairo assembly, similar to the EVM, to the Ethereum virtual machine that execute bytecode, Solidity bytecode. So we have the same here, Cairo virtual machine, and it's provable. So the difference from, let's say, bytecode on Ethereum to bytecode or Cairo assembly on StarkNet is that every smart contract, whilst it's being converted to Sierra, we'll see it in a second and compiled eventually to Cairo assembly, it's provable. So you can prove the computation result of a program. Another thing that is super important to understand about Cairo is because of the reason that it's provable and because of the technology of Starks and zero knowledge proofs, uh, we have some constraints. And one of the biggest constraints is that the language itself is the memory is immutable, which means that once you run a program, you cannot change the memory during the execution, which is a bit weird. Now, imagine that you define a variable, right? And then you cannot change the value of this variable through this function. Uh, it's very weird and it creates a lot of problems. For example, you cannot do for loops, for example, because you cannot increment the i because you're changing the value in the memory. You can just define new variables. And this was actually the story in Cairo 0, in the previous version of Cairo, but StarkNet and the Cairo developers, the people who created the Cairo language, wrapped it for us and made it possible to create mutable variables. They are not really mutable under the hood. They are just wrapping it for us and creating new variables in the memory. But we do have mutable variables in Cairo 1 and Cairo 2, which is much better than the previous Cairo 0 language. So I just want you to understand that really under the hood, the variables and the memory is immutable, but it they wrapped it up for us so we can use mutable variables in Cairo 1 and Cairo 2. And the cool thing about Cairo that you don't need to understand all the math and all the cryptography behind zero knowledge and ZK, uh, because you don't have to do this kind of stuff when it comes to writing Cairo smart contracts. All the magic, all the zero knowledge magic happens under the hood, when you convert your Cairo code to Sierra and from Sierra to Cairo assembly, all the magic happens in the prover of StarkNet and the sequencer. And you just need to learn the syntax and learn the language, which is similar to Rust in order to create and use the power of zero knowledge proofs and Starks. Well, remember that I told you that Cairo is immutable? Yeah, you read it right. It's immutable memory. You cannot change the value of variables that you define. Once you write a variable, let's say x equals 6, like you see in this example, you cannot change the value of x. As you can see here, we got an error. Cannot assign to an immutable variable. But what I told you before, since Cairo 1, they abstracted the whole mutability, immutability thing in the memory for us, and we can create mutable variables. We'll see it in a second. As I mentioned before, the Cairo memory, by default, the Cairo VM memory is immutable. You cannot change variables after you define them. As you can see here in this example, x equals 6. And if we try to change the x variable, we have an error because we cannot assign to an immutable variable. Once you write the variables, you cannot change their value unless we are talking about Cairo 1 and Cairo 2 because they abstracted the whole immutability for us.